Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a quick three minute tip. And in this tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a table like this in WordPress. So there's a couple options. The first one is actually available in the new WordPress uh, Gutenberg editor, which is uh, in WordPress 5.0 or later. And if you're in a page, you can click the plus up here to add a new block and it's in most use for me, but I think in common blocks, see if we can find it. No, it's in formatting. You can click table and then add the columns and rows you want, and then you'll have a table created. I haven't used this much, but you'll want to experiment with this option to see if it's going to work for you. The option I usually use, and I've used it for years, is a WordPress plugin called Table Press, uh, which has worked great. You see it's got 800,000 installations, tons of positive reviews, so it's well supported and reliable. So you can install the Table Press plugin for free. Once it's installed, you'll have this Table Press menu uh, within your WordPress dashboard. And if I go to All Tables, I can then click Add New. And let's just create a test table, number of rows and columns, click Add Table. And here's the table layout. There's tons of options for the table that I won't go through here. You can type in your data here and then you use the short code to insert it into a page or post. But one of the most useful things about this plugin is you can actually import data. So I could take a, an Excel spreadsheet like this one that a client gave me uh, with all this data and rather than typing it in, I can simply import it as a new table or add it to an existing table. So here I'm gonna choose an Excel file, add as a new table. So I'm just gonna grab it from my uh, Windows folder and drag it to this button. You can also click on this to browse your computer. I'm gonna click import. And it's gonna import all that data to a new table. And again, you can mess with all the options down at the bottom of the table here. But once you add the short code into a page, it's going to look like this by default and you can see you can add some pages. So here this one's got pages because there's 700 entries and I also have the ability to search and sort by these different columns. So those are two options for creating tables within WordPress. Hopefully that helps you out. If it does, make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have questions and check out my next three minute tip.